Ma'am, we are not visible. Uh, hearable. Ma'am, we are not audible. Ma'am. Okay, sorry. Uh, okay, again, I'll repeat. Job shop production, basically, um, the equations. How you derive um, the equation for RP is the same as that we have done for uh, batch production. But um, as the equations go in the same lines, I have not written down all the equations. It's just this one equation that is TP is equals to T set plus TC. Okay. Uh, moving on to the third type of production that is mass production. Just a minute. Yeah. Uh, okay, I'm. I sorry, I forgot to ask you if I can continue the class. Anyways, uh, we have uh, continued it, so I'll be taking the class till one thirty only. Uh, and tomorrow maybe uh, if you want a break then we'll break or else uh, we'll continue in the same fashion tomorrow as well so uh, moving on to the third type of production that is mass production uh, lower second... the page a little huh lower the page a little bit page what do you want me to do same thing man <laughs> place the page at the center of the screen like it is on the top corner uh the problem is there's something already written on top. You all will get confused. Therefore, okay. Is this fine? This is fine. Ma yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. It's fine. Ma uh, now moving on to getting the equations for uh, production rate with respect to mass production. Uh, there are basically two types of mass productions. Uh, one is quantity type and one is uh, the flow line type of mass production. So when it comes to quantity type of mass production, uh, we can say that the production rate here equals the cycle rate of the machine. Uh, after the production starts, uh, what happens is the effect of setup time, it becomes insignificant. Okay. That is, if you consider the ratio of setup time by Q, it becomes zero. So, with respect to mass production, in that if you consider quantity type of mass production, RP is given by, that is production rate is given by this equation. That is 60 divided by TC. Because as the production quantity that is q it becomes large the ratio t set up by q it becomes zero okay ma'am could you please uh, move the paper to bit left yes okay is this, this is fine yes ma'am okay Okay, so where uh, RC basically it is the operation, uh, sorry, RP that is production rate, that is nothing but the cycle time, or oh, sorry, operation, uh, operating cycle rate, not cycle time, that is given by 60 divided by TC. So this is with respect to mass production when it is quantity type of mass production. If you consider the flow line type of mass production, uh, you have different equations to get TC and then get RP. So for flow line mass production, what happens is the production rate basically, uh, it approximates the cycle rate of the production line. Again, here also we are going to neglect the setup time. Um, so uh, have you all heard of bottleneck station? No, ma'am. I have not heard of bottleneck station. Okay. 
so um here what happens in this particular uh, mass production uh, there is there is something called as a bottleneck station okay uh, it refers to the station uh, which which takes maximum time as compared to all other stations so suppose if you consider one part that has to be produced and it is going through different stages uh, it is it is going to be processed at different machines there is going to be one machine which is going to uh, sorry there is there is this one process which is taking maximum time okay and that particular time or that particular station is considered as the bottleneck station and all of the calculations that we do will be dependent on that particular bottleneck station so here basically um, one second okay so uh, sometimes we have to take this into consideration because uh, when it uh, when it starts with uh, mass production uh, we assume that we are going to distribute the time equally at every station but then there will be one station which is taking more time uh, so uh, the parts which are going to that machine will have to wait and the rate there gets very slow it gets slow down so that bottleneck station is a uh, important thing to be considered here uh, therefore uh, in order to get the rp value or uh, sorry the rp equation first we'll be finding uh, the tc value here uh, sorry the tc equation it is given by tr plus maximum t not where uh, tr it is the ultimate uh, sorry the time to transfer the work part between stations um, which is given by minutes per cycle and maximum t not it is the operation time at bottleneck station okay so please uh, note down these points uh, with respect to mass production um, that to the flow line type of production first you write down the equation to get tc tc is given by tr plus max of t not here this max of t not indicates the time at the bottleneck station and tr it is the time which is used to transfer the work parts between one station to the other station we are talking about mass production so there is continuous flow of parts that takes place with respect to mass production and uh, when it comes to setup time uh, you completely can neglect the setup time because it comes to because we are considering the mass production ma'am can so you display the, the quantity type actually same as the equation for uh, float flow type also flow line type also there also rp is equals to uh, 60 divided by tc oh uh, ma'am can you just show the flow line type again yes ma'am thank you okay uh, so this is how you get the production rate for mass production of a flow line type production so theoretically the production rate can be determined by using the reciprocal of tc as rc is equals to or rp is equals to 60 divided by tc so this is the same equation that we get for uh, quantity type mass production as well okay so uh, we will move on to the next uh, measure or the next matrix that is production capacity
so the first thing is it um, may not be completely understandable with respect to the disturbances that we had to face today but i just assume that maybe some things are understood by you people today that is what is production rate basically how do we calculate production rate uh, in order to get the production rate first and foremost thing that we have to do is we have to find what is the cycle time cycle time it is with respect to one individual product once we get that cycle time then we go for uh, whatever is the requirement of your problem statement if it is asking you to get the production rate of mass production job production uh, job shop or uh, batch production that you will understand when you read the problem statement maybe it will be directly given or based on the quantity that has been specified or based on the problem statements that are there you can identify what type of production it is and based on that type of production you use those equations in order to get the solution uh that is to find what is rp so i have given you uh, i have just shown you all the equations uh, how to get rp with respect to mass batch and job shop production all the three have been given already is it clear yes ma'am okay so shall we proceed to the next one that is production capacity we will discuss production capacity and we'll stop for today so that uh, uh tomorrow i think i just hope that things will go more smoothly and we will finish off with the other uh, measures tomorrow so today our uh, production capacity will be the last thing that i'll be discussing okay yes ma'am so here production capacity uh, we also sometimes call it as the plant capacity okay so production capacity it is denoted by pc production capacity is defined as the maximum rate of output that a production facility is able to produce under a given set of assumed operating conditions so what is production capacity is nothing but how many what is the maximum amount of units or number of units that have been produced in a production facility what do we mean by production facility we have already come across this uh, i will just hope you all have already studied this in the previous classes what is production facility must have already been discussed yes yes ma'am so production capacity it is the maximum rate of output uh, that a production facility is able to produce under a given set of assumed operating condition so the production facility it usually refers to a plant or a factory or uh, whatever um, are the equipments that are all available in the factory that all sums up to be a production facility so how uh, now we have the production capacity it can be calculated by the following equation so this is our equation number 9 uh, which will help you to determine the production capacity it is given by the equation n into sw into hsh into rp Um, equation is not visible. Is it visible now? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. so here uh, i have written down all the uh, units and also uh, the terms that we have used in this equation we have small n that is number of work centers working parallel in parallel 
producing uh, in the facility so what is n it is the number of work centers in the facility that is in the plant what is sw it is number of shifts per week we have considered the time frame to be week of course because when it comes to shifts it is on weekly basis so the unit for sw is shifts per week what is hsh it is the number of hours per shift we just spoke about shifts per week here number of shifts per week hsh is number of hours per shift the unit is hours and rp as we know it is the hourly production rate it is expressed in units per hour so basically um when it comes to measuring the plant capacity or the production capacity uh, which gives us the number of units that are produced per week here when we say that n is number of machines or the work centers in the facility n here is number of work centers or you can even call it in a simpler term that is it is number of uh, machines so here n is the number of machines or work centers in the facility um, suppose a work center what is a work center it is uh, basically a manufacturing system in a plant which typically consists of one worker and one machine it also be uh, it can either be automated without any worker or it may be automated semi automated depends so it is capable of producing say rp units per hour that is uh, number of units per hour it is rp and each work center that is each machine it operates for a certain number of hours per shift that is hsh and there will be sw number of shifts per week so all of that when you sum up Uh, sorry not sum up when you consider all of that you get the value of production capacity so production capacity that is number of parts that are produced in a week can be given by considering the number of machines or work center into how many shifts per week you are working into number of hours per shift and what is the hourly production rate on that particular machine this is clear production capacity units yes, are very important here you need to note down the units now we know that n this n it is nothing but number of work centers or the number of machines that we have in the plant capacity suppose if we know n not that is number of operations that are going to be performed on every machine then also we can find out what is the production capacity and how we can find out is here i'll show you all visible Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. So, if we include the possibility that each work unit requires, say, n not number of operations uh, in its processing sequence, then the plant capacity can be given by. It is the same plant capacity equation that is n into S W into H S H into R P. The terms are already discussed. This divided by n not, which is number of distinct operations. through which the work unit is routed so plant capacity you have same equation that is n into sw into hsh into rp but suppose if number of distinct operations are also mentioned then only you go for this equation else you will be referring to the previous equation that is equation number 9 so we will be solving one example uh, uh, when we start solving the problem you will understand the difference once you uh, basically all these equations may not be 
easily understandable now because it's completely in the theory mode so when we start solving the problems exactly uh, you will understand it better so in case you all are now, now getting confused or not able to exactly keep a track of what are, what are the discussion discussions happening just uh, be a little patient till maybe uh, tomorrow or next week's class when we actually start with the problem solving i'm hopeful that tomorrow only i'll start with the problem solving i may require another half an hour to complete the theory part after that we'll start with the problems so once we start with problems things will be clear for you okay so production capacity is it clear yes ma'am yes ma'am okay uh, so i think we'll stop here and uh, we'll meet again tomorrow at 12 o'clock uh, make sure that you have your uh, book and pen with you so that you can write down the other equations and uh, hopefully we'll start with the problems tomorrow okay okay ma'am okay, okay ma so this this session was understandable yes i don't know what were the technical uh, issues whether it was from your side whether it wasn't from your side and it just happened somehow but i don't know uh, if it has been done from one of you then please see to it that such things are not repeated uh, we all are new to these uh, techniques and i just hope we all cooperate with each other here and the student just tell us and those who need to Uh, yeah and uh, uh, maybe one day we'll share with you all how attendance can be uh, tracked in uh, this google classroom and google meet because uh, suppose if you are even if you leave the session for say 5 minutes in between uh, we can ident uh, identify that in the attendance record okay if there are any network issues okay they it can be understood but uh, make sure that um, you are attentive throughout because this is the only way through which we can communicate with you people and uh, help you understand the things so um, if you people are facing any problem understanding uh, feel free to maybe message me personally there is no problem only for today uh, today you can message because uh, if there is anything uh, only with respect to understanding or the the way the lectures are delivered okay so we'll stop here i will meet tomorrow anything from your side do you want to tell yes any suggestions any feedback ma'am there is a message in the chat a uh, message in the chat ma'am like the uh, students are asking to share the pdf of notes a uh, pdf of the notes so uh, even if it is that it will be before the internals uh, whatever whatever i have written up i don't have any other uh, handwritten notes with me uh, maybe before internals we'll share it library is open we can come and pick up the books and also i think the library uh, access is given to the students so you all can come and take the books from library and i think there are limited number of uh, books with respect to this particular uh, textbook that we are referring so you all can quickly come and take it and uh, as you okay whatever problems and all if i'm solving and uh, suppose if i move to this board teaching then there will be no problems uh, solved okay um let's see before the internals will share not now okay whatever we have written and whatever i have i will share it before the internals i cannot assure you all that every detailed uh, handwritten note will be shared because we don't have it we don't usually uh, prefer doing that for the seventh semester students so whatever little notes i have i'll share it with you all uh, before the internals i'm um, actually today some students uh, faced some problem like uh, visibility of screen okay so google meeting uh, google meet mobile so they were unable to follow like completely okay so if you okay please share today's today's notes then they can keep it as a reference for tomorrow's problems um okay I'll see. Thank you. Yes, fine. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you.
मैम यस मैम वी हैव फोर्थ एडिशन नो वी सजेस्ट यू टू गो विथ थर्ड एडिशन ओके मैम वी ऑलरेडी सेंड दैट पीडीएफ नो इन द ग्रुप Ma'am, today what the, what all you uh, thought, no, ma'am? It is the uh, it's there in fourth edition, but. Yeah. Ha, some part is there, so you can refer to that. Okay, okay. Yes, sir. Okay, fine. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Okay. सुमेध मुगित क्लास है